Hey everybody, Shane here from Guitar Work. Welcome back. This is a great song. This is Everybody Hurts by R.E.M., a favorite for sure. Uh, if you haven't done any flat picking before, this is going to be great for you. It's this. We'll go through it slowly, but just a few chord shapes, a couple of right hand patterns, and you're set to go. So we'll talk about that, and also I'll employ the fabulous Beat Buddy here. If, uh, if I get going, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three, five. Just D to G. Just D to G. So we'll talk, we'll break it all down slowly. And uh, there's a couple more chord shapes and also some really cool walks in there. Which are, I would say they're, they're optional. Um, if we look at how maybe to approach the song, maybe just go with the basic version first and we can add the walks as you see fit. But we'll go through everything slowly. Um, but welcome back. Thanks for all your thumbs up and your suggestions. This has been great. I'll send this out to Karina, uh, right here in Ottawa. That is spelt with two A's. Uh, Karina, have a great week paddling and uh, we look forward to seeing you after. And I hope that uh, you'll head to patreon.com slash guitar at work. Grab a couple of sheets that I've got here for you. And one has the actual song on it. The other one is the details page as always. Uh, it has the chord shapes and all of the picking patterns. So go grab that, patreon.com slash guitar at work. It doesn't have to be a lifelong commitment. There's dozens of songs up there. Just go grab all the sheets and you can play along with dozens of videos here. Um, now what am I forgetting? Yes, I'm proudly affiliated with uh, Singular Sound. We'll be using the Beat Buddy. And toward the end, stick around for those that uh, I'm getting a lot of good feedback on the lead stuff that we've been doing at the end of videos. So we'll save that for the very end for those of you that want to look at that. So just more scale stuff and how you might play lead. If, if you have a friend that's playing the chords for you or a looper, uh, then you can play lead on top. It's a lot of fun to do. Um, so hey, grab those sheets and here we go. I'm going to grab um, a D chord, no problem there. And if you're looking at your details page, we've got it here in my trusty iPad. I'm going to grab a pick. I've got a pick in my hand. You could finger pick this, this. I am choosing to flat pick it because I think that's what they're doing. I'm going to rest my right hand. I'll call it the heel of your hand right there. I'm going to rest that on the pins that are holding the uh, strings in. And that way I've got a point of reference and I'll miss less. Okay. So if I, me, if I was, if I was unsupported, I would miss every second string. Uh, so I, I have that rest that I've been using for years and it really does help me. Some people use the rest of their pinky like that. It's, um, I've seen lots of great players do it, so I can't knock it. That's for sure. I'm just going to play, you're going to see on your pattern, I'm going to play a D chord here in the left hand and I've got a D string op open there. And now the G string and the B string and then high E. And when we get to that high E, I flip to an upstroke. So it's going to go down, 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 and now just come back up, up, up. Let's do that again. So D, G, B, high E, B, G. And I was saying earlier, it's in six. What does that mean? So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, Six. That's considered a bar. Okay, we're in six eight. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I gotta tell you, if you miss a string like I just did, <laughs> don't stop and try to correct it. It's still a D chord. It's still a good note. It might not be exactly what you're looking for, but that's what what I refer to as recovery skills. Just keep right on going. Nobody notices a thing. So watch out for that. Um, it's not worth going back and then having a rhythmic error as well. So just keep right on going, find your place. That's what we do in the D chord. Every time you see a chord written on your uh, sheet, uh, you play that pattern twice. Okay, that's really important. You play that pattern twice so every time you see a chord. I'm gonna go to a G next, there's your G. And I'm gonna use a four finger G. I'll call that the rock G. There's no real name for it to distinguish it from other Gs, but that's the one they're using. So use that. Different right hand pattern this time. We're starting on the low E, then the D string, then the G, high E, B, and G. Let's do that again slowly. Low E, D, G, high E, B, G. And that's it. So if I go D to G a couple of times, twice now, twice. Stay there. And here's a G. There we go. Each one gets twice. There's going to be an E minor and an A chord as well in there. Here's your trusty E minor. Different pattern again. Watch out, watch out. It's going to be three in a row. And then top three. I'll do that again. Here's your E minor. There we go. 
And the last guy here is an A. There's your A, different pattern again, so watch out for that. Uh, similar to the E minor, though, we're just starting on a different bass note. There you go, so that's A, D, G, high E, B, and a G. There you go, those are all the right hand patterns you need. Um, you're gonna find, there's some fills in there, fill number one and fill number two. And again, those are optional, they're really cool. They're really cool and I encourage you to work on them. But I'm always a firm believer, it's, it's better to be able to play the song in its basic form, play all the way through while you're secretly pecking away at all this the more complicated stuff. Fill number one is when G moves to E minor, which it will in, in all the verses. So when G moves to E minor, here's a G. I'm gonna play a one full pattern here. <laughs> Here's the fill, fill number one. You do that again, I missed a note in there. Here's fill number one. So you're just moving that bass out three, meaning third fret, open G, and here's your second fret. Yeah, good close up of that. Here it is again, fill number one. Over we go. Picking the same strings with the right hand, but you're just moving that bass note, and that will terminate or head to an E minor. So it's a bass walk. You're hearing that called all the time. So that's that's a fun one. And also, uh, when you're in the chorus, A when A returns to E minor, it's a little bit of a quicker walk. So if I go from A, here it comes. Fill number two. E minor. There we go. We so do that again slowly. Here is an A chord regular pattern and here's fill number two abandon the chord and go three third fret two meaning second fret and then you're back to E minor now you're gonna see those written on your chart and you're gonna see it written on the details page as well um, so we'll put those all those into context but again save those for when you're feeling pretty good about the song but they do you can use them in other songs too those are pretty basic, pretty normal walks so that's a good thing um, we'll get to the scale after but hey uh, as far as chords now there is a strumming section in what I'll refer to as the bridge of the song there's a strumming bit there's an F sharp chord here and if you're going oh no it's a bar chord yes it is there's an F sharp and a B minor and she's those are pretty popular shapes so yeah if these if bar chords are new to you this is the day to do it right F sharp and here's a B minor, like this guy here. So here's, they're the same shape, but the F sharp is one set of strings thicker, I'll call that. Here's your F sharp, there you go, and B minor. When they get to that point in the song, they're strumming, and we're strumming in six, so it'd be this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Think, B, uh, sorry, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. That's one, two, and three, and four, five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. I'll go to a B minor, same thing. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. That's it. Now you may have to stop tape right there, and there's no shame in that to get the right hand pattern down. Remember, we're gonna do a slow play along, as always, and then a full speed play along as well. So you'd wanna stop tape there, make sure you're okay with that. And um, I'd encourage you to, to try the play alongs, even maybe before you're feeling 100% ready, to again, uh, encourage you to have recovery skills. That's a, a big deal when you're playing with other people. So you have to be able to find your place if something goes wrong, and something will go wrong. It happens to me too, everybody's the same. Um, and you just manage to get in there or back in there for that. So um, if we go to, I'm gonna go, it comes in at 96 beats per minute. Now I'm using the Beat Buddy, I'm using the Blues 3 pattern because it's in 6-8, a Blues 3 pattern. There's nothing inherently bluesy about this drum pattern. They call it Blues in a, in a Blues folder. So that comes pre-programmed on your Beat Buddy. You don't have to download anything. It's just right on there. This is the Blues 3 pattern. Just dial that up and it's at 96 beats per minute. 96 beats per minute. I'm gonna bring it down for a slow play along to 76 beats a minute. And that would be this right here. Head over to here. There we go, 76 beats a minute. And um, I'll just uh, do, do the slow play along. I'll just do it up to and including maybe the, uh, do, do, the bridge, right to the end of the bridge. And because it's all repeats fill after that. So it's 76 beats per minute and here it comes. Ready? I'll, let, I'll get this guy going here. Learn how to count it. One, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, I'm gonna start on my intro. I'm gonna go D to G. Remember, each guy gets two patterns. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, here's a G coming. D here. G. 
first verse, D. D again, your day is long, G. There's a D coming, and the night. G, the night is yours alone, that's the end of the first line. There's a D. Are you sure you've had enough? life. G coming. Hang on. There's a fill number one. E minor, of course. A, let yourself go. Fill number two. E minor there. A, everybody cries. You can skip the fills if you want. Fill number two. E minor. A, everybody hurts, and stop here, one, two, three, four, five, D, sometimes, G, sometimes everything, D, everything is wrong, G, D coming, time to sing along, or skip it. E minor. Take comfort. A in your friends. Fill number two. E minor. A. Everybody hurts. Now bridge, strum, F sharp. And a one. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, F sharp, it's two on each. One, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. B minor, there go. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. F sharp, and a one, two. Don't throw your hands. One, two, three, B minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next line coming. C, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, G. One, two, four, five, six, one, two. C coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. A minor come. One. Now stop here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. And we'll be back to you be back to a verse. So there we go. That was our slow play along, just up to the end of the bridge. And so, you know, bad things happen to good people when you try to go in real time. Uh, but I encourage you again, try to play along. And when something bad happens, just wait on a D or something, wait on a G and wait for me to get there and then start up again. Because that's going to happen when you're playing with other people and you have to know how much time has gone by when disasters occur. So how much time is going by and just don't, you can just pick it up wherever you can kind of thing. So that was 76. I'm going to go back up to 96. That is as easy as dialing up the tempo knob here to 96. And we'll do a full speed play along. Remember, grab those sheets from patreon.com slash guitar work. That makes life a whole lot easier. And I'll go all the way through this time. And uh, there's be an intro. Is it well again? So here it is, our full speed play along. Here it comes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. G. D. G. D. When your day is long. Here's a loan. D. Are you sure you've had G enough? D of this life. G. Hang on. Fill number one. If you can do it, here it comes. E minor. Don't let.
Let yourself A, go. Go number two, coming up, or skip it. Everybody, A, cries. Go number two, coming. E minor. Everybody, A, everybody hurts. Stop here. One, two, three, four, five, D. Uh. G. Sometimes everything D is wrong. There we go. Back to G here. Now it's time, D, time to sing along. G. Back to D. If you feel like G, letting go. D. If you've had G too much. There's a D of this life. G. Hang on. Bill number one coming. E minor. A. Everybody hurts. Bill number two or skip it. Take comfort, A, in your friends. Bill number two, B e minor. A, everybody hurts. Okay, now strum, bridge, and a one. Four. B minor coming, and a one. Four, five, six, one, two, three, F sharp. There's two on each. Four, five, six, one, two, B minor. No, it says F sharp, and a one. Don't throw your hands. B minor. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, one. C coming. And a one. If you feel like G, you're alone. One. C. No, 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 no. A minor. You're not alone. A minor. Big stop coming. One, two, three, four, D, and O. There you go. G, when you're on your own. Days and nights, G, along. D coming. You think you've had G too much. D of this life. G to hang on. Number one there. Last chorus. Everybody hurts. Well, number two coming if you can do it. A, everybody cries. Go number two again. Here it is, uh, bang, 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 E minor. A, everybody hurts. Stop here, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh. That was a long one, I forgot to warn you, <laughs> sorry. G, here we go. D, everybody hurts. G. Now start strumming here, now D on the strum. Now one. way home. D here, everybody hurts. One, two, G. It's heating up at the end, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. G coming. Four, five, six, one. D coming. There's a G coming. Four. Keep going. D. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Good. I'll stop it there. Two, three, four. There we go. Good. I hope you did well with that. That's full speed. That's 96 beats a minute, and we're in 6 8 time. Uh, that was all the way through. And again, I encourage you to, uh, to stop tape here and there, you know, work on the patterns and things like that, but then jump right in and try to do the play along. Mistakes and all, okay? It's such a huge skill. And a lot of us are playing alone. Um, and you don't really um, you don't you don't really experience that thing where you're you're playing with someone else and uh oh something surprising happened and what do I do so you, you gain recovery skills and uh, and the skill of playing with other people and the push and pull that naturally occurs with other people so that is fantastic now I'm going to employ the fact that was the uh, the beat buddy uh, drum machine which I love as you if you watch any of my other videos you know I'm using it all the time it's by Singular Sound proudly affiliated and um, there's a, there's links in the description below. And of course, if you use the promo code GAW10, uh, you get 10% off and it really helps to support the channel. I much appreciate it. It's been great to hear from the people that have been getting them and how much you're enjoying them and your questions that you have. And uh, I'll remind you there's a song matching tool on the Singular Sound website, which is if you dial in the name of a song, it'll, it'll tell you 
what what pattern to choose and uh, it's really really cool there's a couple thousand songs up there so that's really cool um and away we go now i'll employ the fabulous eros looper now the looper if you have a looper which i think is maybe one of your number one practice tools and it really helps to simulate playing with other people the eros looper is fantastic it is also by singular sound and uh, i love it it's uh, there's a great visual display as you'll see here in a second i am gonna just pull up an empty song here and we'll talk about a bit of lead stuff for those of you that like it and empty song number one and now the cool thing is all i have to do is press go on the beat buddy and it will activate the looper so it's going to give me a count in uh, with a little drum fill and then i'll start playing and the loop looper will start uh, as well so that's really really cool and again the visual is really hard to get lost with this looper because you actually see the sound on the giant screen there it's really cool so i'm just going to loop i am going to loop um the d to g section here d to g say one two three four five six one. with my no hands. Now the scale you're seeing on your detail sheet, you've done this before probably. 10th fret, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, 10, seven, 10. That is D pentatonic major, very important, very important. You've seen that shape before. We've just been moving it, moving it around in different positions to accommodate the key of whatever song we've been doing. So here backwards too, you gotta be able to do it backwards. I'll, I'll show them out. 10, seven, 10, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine. You can also use the 7th fret on the low E, but you just can't stay there, okay? So watch out for that. So there's your root, is the 10th fret, and pinky. If you're having trouble getting your pinky up like that, if you're having trouble getting your pinky up, if your thumb's up like that, you're doomed, okay? You're doomed. Get that thumb down nice and low. That'll get that pinky working. And there, I love this big volume knob here. So my loop's a little loud, so I'm gonna bring it down. Boop. It's foot friendly. So. How do you play a lead? I'm just gonna go up and down the scale a little bit. I like that note, so I'll pause. That's all there is to pause. A little vibrato. That's a good note. Just stay in the scale. It's not important you play exactly what I'm playing. You have to sort of fish around and find some things that you like and develop your instinct. If a note sounds bad, like this one right here, don't stay there. Go to the next one. Ah. But now that note sounds good because it's a different chord. So there's a little bit of that. You don't have to intellectualize it. You just have to get uh, develop your instinct to keep on moving. fun to do and, and especially if you have a jamming partner and uh, he or she is playing the chords for you uh, it's really fun to have that that back and forth solo thing so um, hey that that is the song and a highly requested song and I've been getting great feedback about the play along so thank you for that remember thumbs up mean the world here in YouTube land so I appreciate that and good to hear from you keep the suggestions coming they're really fun and uh, I've got a good long list going right now but uh, we're getting through them one at a time for sure and um, I appreciate your your, uh, your comments suggestions all that good stuff and just have fun with it that's the big thing eh? so hey I'll take it out of here with let's see I'm just gonna play a bit more lead one two three four five six go Enjoy, see you soon.